How do you go about doing a maiden flight on a model airplane? Well, the first thing you have to, to know is that according to the AMA safety code, you have to do a range check on every new model before you, know, before you fly it. And uh, you follow the transmitter manufacturer's recommendations and of course you need to have a friend help you. So while you have a friend helping you with that, have him check the direction of the control movement. So you move the stick and have him confirm that but also he needs to carefully look for any binding or anything loose because now's the time to fix it before you try to fly it. After you've done that, give some thought to what you're going to do during this flight. Uh, you know, where you're going to be at, you know, where you're going to head, head uh, for a landing if there's any kind of problem. And think about, you know, what type of maneuvers, you know, how long the flight is going to be. But, you know, c come up with a plan before you take off. When you're in the process of taking off, very, very carefully look at the model and listen to the model for anything that doesn't feel right because uh, the best time to abort a flight is before you've taken off. So if, so if anything doesn't look right or, or doesn't sound right, just abort the flight, look it over, you can always try it again. But you know, that, that's the time to, to, to pull the cord in a sense and say, okay, okay, I need to check this over one more time. But once you're in the air, there's some there's some things that I recommend you do. First of all, try f doing some slow speed flight because you're going to be doing that when you come in for the landing. So you don't want to be doing the first time ever slow flight on that model when you are a couple of feet off the ground. Okay, so w when you're up at altitude, slow down, see how it handles, make sure that it's still controllable. And while you're at it, also test the model power off. You know, just cut the power, see how it glides, see you know, if you have good control of it. Uh, because who knows, you know, even if you don't plan to fly power off, you might end up doing that and it's better to, to get some practice when you have some control over it. Um, try doing a high speed dive. There's two things you're going to learn from that. One is make sure that you have enough elevator authority on the servo and also on the elevator to pull out of the dive safely. But also that's a perfect test for flutter and flutter can be a big problem with some other airplanes. So you, you, you want to check for that. Um, so, so, so while you're doing all of this, you know, also do maneuvers that you're comfortable with, you know, figure eight loop or inverted or what or whatever. But you want to be making mental notes. You know, do I need more exponential? Do I need less? Do I need to have mix? You know, throttle to elevator or or, or whatever. You now, of course, you know, you don't want to be thinking too much about these things. But these are mental notes and things that you're going to be checking later. So after you come in and land. Give it thorough inspection of the model, look to make sure there's nothing loose, make sure the servos are still securely mounted, the control surfaces are good. Now's the time to go back to your the mental checklist and put in the exponential, put in the mixes and all of that. And if everything looks good, go and fly it again.